WTFNN. Headline news update. Welcome, folks. We had the uh, Dow Industrials finish up 11, NASDAQ down 26, S&P's flat, gold, gold contract, as well as silver caught a bid once again. You had the gold contract up $22.50, trading at 1422 silver up 14 cents, $15.43, light sweet crude up 43 cents, $57.86 a barrel, and notes and bonds, they just continue to want higher price, lower yield. Uh, this is like uh, um, Groundhog Day, folks. Uh, the 10-year yield right now is trading at 2.01. We hit 1.97 last week. What I expect we're going to see is that we are going to be making uh, new lows in the yield uh, for the year, uh, 1.71. That's what it looks like it wants to go to. If you break that 1.71, you're going to go to an all-time low. Uh, the all-time low right now in the 10 years, 1.38%. You know, I suspect 1.71 is coming at us. King dollar. King dollar down 198 ticks. You're trading 95, 515. We get over and we take a look at king dollar. What you're going to see here is that this broke its uptrend. It broke it with conviction. You had wide price spread. You had volume behind the move. And even the fourth day down, we still got 22,000 contracts. That's good contract volume because right now, folks, uh, the king dollar is in no man's land. What that means specifically is that you don't have any support right here at 95,515 until you get to 94,780. So I expect we're going to get down to that end, uh, lower end um, probably tomorrow. Let's see. Uh, that might take a couple of days, actually, because that's, uh, that's three quarters of a penny down. Because when, when we talk about the king dollar, and you, I'm, I'm saying that it's trading 95,515, uh, that 515 is one half a penny. That's how that, that's how that deal works. So right now, the lower end of the consolidation in king dollar is 94. That's where it wants to go. You break 94,88, it's on the agenda. So we got some action uh, on the downside. And that's what is putting juice into the gold, into the silver, into the copper. Uh, it's going to be questionable about, um, not questionable, if King Dollar get, does get down to that 94 and then goes to 88, we will see more strength actually inside the oil market. The oil market right now uh, has a lot of sellers at this $58 area. That is ice. That's where oil sold down fast and furious. To recap out here, we have the Dow Industrials up eight. NASDAQ down 26, S&P's up one. Stay right there, folks. Come back with some numbers after, uh, for next uh, hour. Come right back.